most expensive machine we use in your local harvest where we have, um, well, state of the art local harvest where we have with radio waves, 13.56 megahertz, cooled paddles, but they're actively cooled with solutions. Oh, okay. Hypothermia, it starts like, ooh, cold. Full. Why? Yeah. Because we don't want to burn the skin uh -huh. and the heat emerges from it within and the vibrating cells yeah. um, produce heat uh, with, and the frequency is picked in a way that cancer cells absorb more energy in this frequency than all the healthy cells around. So we have a specific overheating of tumors up to a hundred and what is that in Fahrenheit? 44 Celsius, I guess that's a hybrid and 12 or something. So pretty hot, but only in the tumor and outside the resonance is less the, the absorption of energy is less, so we have less heat. We have heat in the tumor and get more comfortable. We cool down and the company has a design, a cooling system to cool down the skin. So we can put a lot of energy into the tumor up to 400 watt, and that's a lot of energy. You imagine that an old light bulb uh, of 100 watt gets pretty hot. For instance, liver metastases, lung tumors, Tools in, in our body as cancer. Eating brain cancer. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And they get that every day, huh? Three times a week. Mm -hmm. If you do it too intensively, you push cancer into uh, an activity that shields cancer from more detrimental heat effects. So cancer cells are so smart. They react with the production of um, heat shock proteins that help them to, to over... Uh, come the, the discomfort and to, to get more and more resistance. So you have to be smart and use it. It's typical medicine. Not, more is not always better. Like in sports, if yeah. you go into yeah. overtraining, training, you ruin your joints and your muscles. You need to make pauses. The principle is called hermesis, medical term for therapies that use a stimulus on an adaptation reaction. So if you give too many stimuli, the adaptation reaction is not as good as you want it. Same applies for whole body hypothermia. If you would expose the patient to the maxim maximum toler tolerated heat, the effect would be less than good.